friends, I hope you're doing well. My name is Emily. This channel is Updog Yoga. This is where we practice yoga together. So for this practice, I am gonna use a yoga block, I think at the end or uh, also in the middle for half moon. So if you don't have yoga blocks, you'll be fine. You can still do this practice. But let's start seated on your mat. You come into a comfortable cross-legged position, hands on your knees, close your eyes and take some deep breaths here. Your breath is the most important part of a yoga practice, so stay connected to your breath the entire time. Find an ocean-like rhythm to your breath. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Slow deep breath in through your nose, and long deep breath out through your nose. Continue to breathe here on your own. Take as long as you need to feel connected to your breath, to feel centered and grounded. For me, it's usually about um, 10 breaths. <laughs> so let's take another breath, breath here, deep breath in, and slow deep breath out. Another good thing is sometimes if you take three deep breaths, you know, that does a wonderful thing for your body as well. So three breaths, 10 breaths, or 20 breaths, as long as you need. And then move into tabletop, onto your hands and knees. So spread your fingers wide under your shoulders, take your knees hip distance apart, and come to a flat back. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, let your spine grow, saddle back, foot forward. And then exhale, reverse your circle, press your hands down, cat stretch your spine, and bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly again, Exhale, round your spine. Let's take this three more times. And feel free to hold one side longer than the other. <laughs> anything that feel, feels good, go with that. If anything feels painful, just stop, come out of it. You can always go back into it a little bit less deep. But the goal is to feel good. And then come back to a flat back. Walk your hands forward, tuck your toes under, downward facing dog, our home base. So balance on your toes. I get a lot of questions about that. Lift your heels in the air. You don't have to drop your heels down. That's for like very advanced people. And we're not really looking to do the most advanced practice. Okay, so spread your fingers wide. Balance on your toes with your heels in the air and relax your head, lift to your knees. So this is a challenging pose. Even though it's not the most advanced pose, it is very challenging. So take your time here, drop your head, pedal your knees, bend one knee, bend the other, and again, Connect to your breath. Breath in, breath out. We'll take about five to eight breaths here and then come back to stillness. Shift forward into a high plank. You can stack your shoulders over your wrist or past your wrist and then exhale downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Inhale plank, shift forward. So you're on top of a push up. A narrow push up and then exhale downward facing dog again lift your hips up one more time building heat inhale plank shift forward exhale downward facing dog take your hips high look forward to your hands ragdoll pose so walk forward grab your elbows bend your knees relax your head and neck hang here Let your head and neck relax. You can also gently sway side to side. And you can change the crossing of your arms, bring the opposite arm in front. Drop your arms down, bend your knees slowly, roll yourself up to standing so that your head is the last thing to lift and then come up. <laughs> so once you're up, you can bring your hands together in prayer, close your eyes, reconnect, slow down. So once you feel grounded and centered again, it's time to move. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up. So palms of your hands face one another. Exhale, side bend to the right side. So bring your right arm to your right leg, reach your left arm over. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up again. Stand tall, exhale, side bend to your left side. Left arm to your left leg, reach your right arm over, maybe look up. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms over your head. 
Exhale, forward fold. Come all the way down, try to touch your toes. Drop your head, look to your knees. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on your shins. And exhale, plank. So back where we started, hands down, walk your feet back to a high plank. You can stay here and hold your high plank or vinyasa. So shift forward, lower halfway, hover. Hug your elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press your toes down so you're gonna lift your thighs, lift your hips, and pull your heart forward. Uh, exhale, downward facing dog. So we'll meet here, back in our home pace pose. All right, let's try it again. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold, touch the floor. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms over your head. And exhale, side bend to your right side. I was trying to make sure you can see. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, lean to your left side. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Come back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank. Hands down, step your feet back. Stay here or vinyasa. Inhale, plank. Shift forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Big stretch. And exhale, downward facing dog. We'll try this one more time. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands on your knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach all the way up. Exhale, side bend to your right side. <laughs> there we go. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach up. Exhale, side bend to your left side. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank. So hands down, hold your plank or vinyasa. Shift forward, lower halfway. You can also do this on your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, <laughs> so lower down to your knees and then lie on your back. So you can take your knees to one side, hips to the opposite side. So you can lie down, or however you can get there. Lie on your back. Bring your feet together and your knees wide into bound angle. Interlace your hands behind your head or fingertips behind your ears. It's important to do core if you're going to do some kind of arm balance or headstand, or if you just you know need to improve your fitness levels. I do every now and then. So press your feet, your feet together. Press your low back down. Inhale, prepare. And exhale, crunch. Lift your head and chest up. Inhale, lower. It's not a full lift, it's just halfway. Exhale, lift. So your low back is down, your abs are strong. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Keep going. Almost there, last four, three, two, one more. All right, stretch it out, reach your arms over your head, stretch your legs, rest. So take as long as you need here to rest. I usually take about eight breaths. <laughs> Anywhere between 30 and 60 seconds is probably enough time to rest. If you're really tired, take 90 seconds and then hug your knees into your chest. You can rock side to side. All right. And then hands underneath your knees, rock up and down a few times. <laughs> One more time, just for fun. And then come back to downward facing dog. Cross your feet, plant your hands. Step back. All right, now that our core is strong, make sure your downward facing dog is strong. Spread your fingers wide, lift your heels and drop your head. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, twist, bring your right knee across to your left elbow in a plank. Oh, so bring it closer, tap it. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, same elbow, same side. Shift forward into a plank. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot in between your hands. Okay, if it doesn't make it in between your hands, like halfway, just place it there. Inhale, standing splits. This is where you may want blocks, like blocks underneath your hands. Pick your left leg up. And then exhale, Shiva squat. Tap the back of your right knee with your left knee. All right, one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step back, hands down. Inhale, warrior two. Come all the way up. Hey. <laughs> Warrior two pose. So set up your warrior two, right toes towards the top of your mat. Line up your right heel to the arch of your back foot and look to your fingertips. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Make sure your right knee is rolling to your pinky toe rather than your big toe. Inhale. Exhale, side angle pose, right forearm to your thigh and left arm up to the sky. Look up to your thumb. This is one option. Other option is you can reach behind your back or see if your hands bind. And then inhale, reverse triangle. So come up, straighten your right leg and reach for the ceiling. Look up to your thumb, breathe here. So put a small bend in your knee. Bump your hip forward to the top of your mat and pull your belly in to reach tall. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog or vinyasa if you'd like, plant your hands. Step your foot back and lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <laughs> Other side, inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, twist, bring your left knee to your right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. So bring it closer, tap, inhale, lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot in between your hands, standing splits. Float your right leg up and drop your head. So hands on your mat or hands on your blocks. Inhale, exhale, Shiva squat, tap the back of your left knee with your right knee. So squeeze in, one more time, inhale, lift, exhale, tap. Inhale, lift, exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two, this time with your left toes straight ahead, arms out wide, turn your head, look to your fingertips, breathe here. Press down through your feet, pull your belly in, press your palms down, reach your arms as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, side angle pose, left forearm to your thigh, right arm up to the sky, look up to your thumb. Now this is one option here, or bind. Reach your right hand behind your back, or thread your left arm underneath your left leg. Lean back, and then release your arms. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten your left leg, reach your left arm up. And when I say straight leg, keep a small bend in your knee, pull your belly in, reach tall. All right, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog or vinyasa. Hands down. All right, let's breathe together. Deep breath in, and then exhale, sigh it out. You can try that a few more rounds, or let's move on. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, twist, right knee to left elbow. We're still doing that same ab exercise. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low lunge. This time, standing splits. Kick your left leg up. Hey, I'm gonna grab a block for this one. <laughs> All right, so as you fold, come halfway up, put the block underneath your right hand, and lean back like you're against the wall. Open up in a half moon. So take your time. 
rock your chest back, open your hip, and spread your toes. Look down to stay balanced. And walls, it always helps to lean against the wall. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, standing splits, bring your left hand down, and step back to low lunge. All right, <laughs> left hand is your foundation. Twist your right arm up and come into a rise and lunge. Drop to the edges of both feet. Reach your right hand back like you're gonna shake someone's hand. <sighs> Yay, and then come back up into your twist. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog or vinyasa. We'll try it on the other side. And inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, twist, bring your left knee to your right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot in between your hands. Ooh, careful of furniture. <laughs> inhale, standing splits. And hold and breathe here. So use your blocks. This time the block is gonna go underneath your left hand and you'll open up in a half moon. So I like to put the block like slightly forward on my shoulder. Rotate back like you're gonna lean against the wall. Spread your toes, flex your foot. And look at the ground to stay balanced. For three, two, and one, standing splits, hands down. Drop your right hip down. Low lunge, step your right foot back. All right, right hand is your foundation. This time, twist your left arm up to the sky. And move into rise and lunge. Drop to the edges of both feet. Reach your left hand back. Ooh, I feel this side. <laughs> and then come back up. And plant your left hand down. Vinyasa. Chaturanga, or straight to downward facing dog. All right, from downward facing dog, inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit down into a chair, reach up. Exhale, prayer twist on your right side, so sit down into your chair. Hook your left elbow, across your right thigh. Hips down, heart up. Left knee back, in line with your right knee. Inhale, exhale, fold. Take your feet hip distance apart and step on your hands. So flip your palms up, bend your knees a lot and you can slide your hands underneath your feet. Pull the crown of your head down. And if your hands don't touch, you can just look, like circle at your wrists. This is just a stretch at your wrists. All right, and then come back. Big toes together, sit down into your chair. Inhale, chair. Exhale, prayer twist on your left. So sit really low, hook your right elbow across your left thigh, hips down, heart up. Right knee back, in line with your left knee. Inhale, and exhale, fold. This time, bring your feet wide. Sit in between your feet, yogi squat, hands down or hands in prayer. And you can... And you can stay here or you can move into an arm balance, a headstand, whatever you're working on. Okay, <laughs> you can bend your elbows, stack your knees on the back of your arms and then rock forward on your tippy toes. Play with lifting one foot, the other, or both. And then I also have one student that loves, um, what's it called, dragonfly pose. I'm not the best at it, but I can do shoulder pressing. So I use two blocks for that. With my feet wider than my hips, blocks behind your heels. 
Take your hands, palms down, and just sit on your arms. You can try to cross your feet. Or extend your legs out. And then when you're ready, <laughs> come back to downward facing dog. You can circle at your wrists. Okay. <laughs> From downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, right knee to your right elbow. And then lower down behind your wrist. Stretch your left leg back, half pigeon. So back foot down, walk your hands back, stay up, or walk your hands forward, fold. Relax your face, soften your jaw, slow, deep breath in. Long, deep breath out. And we're just gonna take five breaths here to soften and relax. As we open our hips and prepare for a few back bends. And then walk your hands back, lift your chest up, come back to downward facing dog. So tuck your left toes, lift your knee, right leg back, pedal your knees. And then other side, inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, half pigeon, left knee to the left side of your mat, right leg back. Hopefully you can't hear my children. <laughs> so you can stay up. Then walk your hands back. This is a nice back bend here. Or walk your hands forward fold. Close your eyes, soften your face again. Slow, deep breath in. Long, deep breath out. Just make sure you're not like leaning to one side too far, one way or the other. You're right in the center. Like so your pelvis is even. Not leaning to one side or the other, you're right in the center. And take your time to come out of this side. Walk your hands back. Step your right foot back. Pedal your knees. Inhale, plank. Shift forward. Exhale, lower to your belly. Come all the way down. Knees, chest, chin. Set up for the smallest back bend. Big toes down and together. Inhale, baby cobra. Curl your head and chest up. So bend your elbows. You don't want to straighten your arms. So it's up dog. You want to keep a bend in your elbows. So just use your chest and back muscles to lift rather than your hands. So you can float your hands, feet down, inhale, exhale, lower. Look to your right side, rest. And then either try Cobra Pose again or Bow Pose. Reach back, grab your feet, your ankles, whatever you can reach. Inhale, lift, kick your feet back, lift your chest, bow pose. Hold and breathe here. So kick your feet up, rock onto the spot below your navel. <laughs> you can also rock side to side. I think I did that last week. In or the last video. All right, inhale and exhale, release. Let go, look to your left side, rest. And then help yourself up. <laughs> it's time to camel pose. Stand on your knees, tuck your toes under, and put your hands on your low back. Good, just like you're gonna um, put your hands in your pockets, if you have pockets. Hug your elbows behind you, look up. Lean back, but avoid crunching in your low back. Make sure you're lifting up higher. If you can see the wall behind you, you can grab your heels. Like this. <laughs> Trying to show you. And then come back up. Take your time. Have a seat. Either on your feet or sit cross-legged. Close your eyes. Rest. So I usually put 
like right hand on top of left hand and hands in my lap, or right hand to my belly and left hand to my heart. So whatever you feel more comfortable with, just a suggestion. But close your eyes, rest. And then as a counter pose to camel pose, we're gonna do rabbit pose, and then we'll move to the floor again. So on your hands and knees, bring the crown of your head into your mat. So the crown of your head is not your forehead, it's the indention on the top of your head, okay? Where you do a headstand. Bring the crown of your head down, reach back and grab your feet behind you, lift your hips up. Your thumbs go to the outside edge, rest of your fingers go to the inside edge of your ankle. And take your time, come back up. Lean to one side, swing your feet forward. <laughs> okay, you can bring your feet together. Pull the fleshy parts away from your sit bones. Whew. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, grab your feet, or bend your knees and grab your feet. Close your eyes, rest. And if you're very flexible, you can take one of the blocks and put it past your feet. I can probably do this, but if I put a few more blocks, I can't reach anymore. Like this leg. Close your eyes, slow down, breath in, breath out. And then come back up. We'll do a spinal twist before we lie down. Make sure you can grab the block as you lie down. Cross your right leg over your left leg. <laughs> reach your right arm up and then hug. Hug your right leg. Left, or hold on. Left arm hugs your leg. Right hand beside you. Inhale, sit up tall, and exhale, twist. <sighs> Spread the toes of your left foot. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist. This is one of my favorite twists. Every time I go to the gym and work out, I'm like, I have to do this twist afterwards. <laughs> Just to reset your spine, neutralize your spine after all that work. And then come back to center, other side. So knee bent, or you can cross your leg. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist, hug your knee, other hand beside you, inhale. Exhale, look over your shoulder. So with every inhale, sit up taller. Exhale, twist a little more. There's a whole bind where you can bring your arm in between your leg and around. That's another class for another day. Spread your toes, inhale, exhale, twist. Three more breaths. And then come back to center. So next we're gonna light our back with a yoga block. If you have a yoga block, great. If you don't, great. I'll show you both ways to use it with the block, with all the block. There's three heights, small, medium, and large. We're gonna go medium with this one. You can always lower it or take it higher if you need to. Set up for bridge pose. We'll do bridge, supported bridge and shoulder stand. So no block needed for bridge, just hands beside your hips and you lift your hips into a bridge. If you like the supported version, put the, the medium height block underneath your sacrum, underneath your pelvis, your basically butt cheeks, <laughs> avoid your lower back. You wanna avoid your spine. You wanna underneath the meaty part, okay? And you can just stay here, hold your bridge, or you can lower your bridge and extend your legs up. If you're on the block, stay on the block. You can also extend your legs up here. Once you're stable, look up to your toes and breathe. This is supported shoulder stand. My first yoga teacher is she would have a yin class and it would be like two hours long. And we would hold this position for five minutes. And five minutes doesn't seem like a long time until you're holding this position, it feels like a long time. So try to relax here. That's what she was really trying to teach me is in stressful times and when times of challenge, just try to soften, try to relax. Soften your face 
and connect to your breath. Always come back to your breath. Breath in, breath out. All right, to come out of it, lower down to your feet. Lift your hips into the bridge to slide the block out and lower your hips all the way down. Let's rest with feet together, knees wide. Right hand to your belly, left hand to your heart. Close your eyes, rest. Slow down your breath. Be proud you made it through this practice, this challenging practice. And your body is stronger for it. Bring your knees back in. Gently rock side to side. And then we'll finish with a twist. Gently rock side to side. And then give yourself a big hug, knees into your chest, forehead to your knees. Inhale, exhale, release. Relax your head, stretch out your legs. Shavasana, take as much rest as you need here. Five minutes is usually the, the golden rule, but take as long or as short of time as you need. Sometimes two minutes is enough, sometimes 10 minutes is enough. Now bring your chin to your chest, close your eyes and melt. Thank you so much for being a part of this wonderful journey of yoga. I will see you in the next video. Bye.